What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the Good Old Guitar Channel. I'm your host Matt Crashiello, and as always thank y'all so much for being here. Now today guys, we've got ourselves some guitar picks, alright? Not just any guitar picks. This is a care package of guitar picks that's been sent to us from a small company out of Germany, believe it or not, called Rombo. Uh, now guys, this is not a paid video. Uh, they're not giving me anything to do this. They were just so kind as to send them to me for free. Uh, and they wanted me to give you guys an honest review on these picks. So there's a huge variety in there, uh, something for everybody. And we'll go ahead and take a look at them and we'll see what we think. And a quick disclaimer, guys, for any of you who may be returning subscribers, y'all are the best. We're crushing it right now. I appreciate what y'all are doing for the channel. Uh, and for any of you guys who may be new or first time viewers, uh, welcome. Hopefully you enjoy this uh, and hopefully you can help your boy out by leaving a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel. It's much appreciated. So with all that being said, I hope y'all enjoy this video and we'll go ahead and take a look at these guitar picks. All right, y'all. So first impressions from the Rombo picks here. Straight out of the box, everything's really nicely presented. Um, now, I will say just some things they let me in on here. Uh, Rombo uses an improved formula of nylon, which is manufactured in Italy. Uh, it focuses on a warm tone and durability. Uh, now, they said that this is aiming to produce a very warm and mellow tone compared to some other picks you may use. And just a disclaimer they gave me, uh, if you're used to Tortex picks, it might be a little warm for your liking. So, anyhow, this is the care package that they sent me. That's what they called it. And guys, this is really cool in my opinion. There's definitely something in here uh, for every player. So, you can see we've got thin, thick, in between. we got holes in the picks, different shapes. Uh, super cool stuff, guys, and I really appreciate them sending it to me. Here's a little extra. Um, this is a thicker pick. We'll get into detail later on these. Uh, definitely excited to use those. Um, typically, I use something a little bit thinner, uh, but you never know. Maybe I'll switch it up. This is one that I'm very excited about. This is called the Origami. Um, about the same thickness of the picks I normally use, and it looks like it's got a really nice uh, textured grip there for your thumb and index fingers. Uh, so we'll definitely be finding out about that. Um, but nonetheless, guys, here's a nice little note they sent me. I appreciate that. And with all that being said, we'll go ahead and rip off one of these bad boys and get started on our review. All right, y'all, I'm going to try to keep this review as short and sweet as I can, but I need you to remember a couple of things. First off, uh, I'm not Eddie Van Halen, so I may not be using some of the guitar aficionado terms that you're expecting to hear on a video like this. Uh, but also remember guys, this is a good old guitar channel and we don't care about that type of thing. Also, uh, what I'm going to be doing is just simply playing through each of the picks they gave me very briefly. Uh, and hopefully you guys will be able to pick up on a tone difference just based off of the sound of the playing. So we'll go ahead and start off by taking a look at this pick. This is the Origami uh, and it is 0.75 millimeters thick. Now right off the rip guys, this has a very cool shape to it. So we'll see how that affects the playing. Origami, thumbs up on that one, guys. Very good textured grip. Um, pretty similar to the thickness I normally play here with acoustic. Uh, so that one gets a thumbs up from me. On to the next pick, guys. They call this one the Waves. Uh, it's 1.25 millimeters thick, so quite a bit thicker than the first one. We'll see what we think. Short and simple, guys. This one also gets a thumbs up from me. A little bit more geared toward maybe an electric player, uh, but I do like it. All right, next on the list, we've got the Rombo Diamond. Now you can see there's a hole going straight through that one, uh, and it's two millimeters thick, so we'll see what we think about it. Guys, for me, this one gets a thumbs middle. Uh, it's nothing against it. It would be great if you were doing a lot of individual plucking on an electric guitar. Uh, but for an acoustic, it's just a little bit thick for my liking. All right, guys, next up, the Rombo Classic. High hopes for this one. It's 0.45 millimeters thick. Uh, I have a good feeling that this is going to be well suited for an acoustic guitar. All 
All right, guys, definitely a thumbs up on this one. I like the thickness and I like the grip and shape of it a lot. Uh, plus bonus points if you can tell me what song that was. Moving along, we've got the Rombo Horizon pick. Uh, this is also an interesting shape. It's got a little ledge on it. I don't know if you can see. Uh, it's 1.4 millimeters thick, so kind of middle of the pack. We'll see what we think. Alright guys, this one gets a thumbs middle from me too, nothing against it. Again, this would be very good on an electric guitar just like the previous um, thicker pick which was called the Diamond, but I really like the little ledge on here. It really allows you to get a good grip. Um, again, just not as well suited for an acoustic in my opinion. So on to the next. Alright, on to the Prisma next. Now this is really unique. It's definitely a perfect triangle. Uh, it's got a little bit of a raised uh, point in the middle of it, probably pretty good for grip. It's 0.8 millimeters thick, so um, a little bit in my wheelhouse. We'll see what we think. Guys, I gotta give this one a thumbs up. Uh, I really like the thickness of it and it's got pretty good grip. Um, the only downside to it, which is also probably the coolest thing about it, is the shape. Uh, just a personal preference. I don't love the feel of those corners in my hand, but other than that, this one's great. All right, so next up to the batter's box, we've got the Rombo Crisp. So I'm expecting this one to be nice and crispy. Uh, it's a good even one millimeter thick. Uh, and as you can see, it's got nice texture there in the middle one side's kind of concave and this one you've got that point coming out so hopefully pretty good grip on this one we'll see what we think back to back another thumbs up for me um i actually like the thickness of this one it's a little bit thicker than i normally play with but it felt good in my hand i like the shape of it and i like the textured grip so thumbs up on to the next all right last but not least nine hole hitter here we have the rombo jade all right so this is our thickest pick on the list um this is definitely a shape that uh someone who is a lot better than me at the guitar could just shred up a gibson with um, but we're going to give it our best go. It's a teardrop shape. It's got really good grip. We'll see what we think. So rating on this one is going to get a thumbs middle. Uh, I can't give any of these picks a definitive thumbs down. Uh, now this one is definitely not suited for my acoustic playing. Uh, but it's just so high quality and it's such a nice pick that I know it would do great on an electric. So for that reason, it gets a thumbs middle and that's going to conclude our review. All right, with the review concluded, it's time for us to go ahead and pick a favorite. Um, I've got them all here in my hand and I can already go ahead and get rid of a couple. Um, we can get rid of this one, this one, this one, uh, and I'll, I'll get us down to a final three. So here we have the classic, the origami, and the horizon. All right, Horizon was just a little bit thick for my liking, but that makes the third place. Uh, and then down to the final two between the Classic and the Origami. Um, to me, the Classic is just a hair thin for my liking. Everything about it is great other than that, but still a really solid overall pick. So that, guys, is going to leave our winner, being the first one we reviewed, the Rombo Origami. I really like the texture. It's a perfect thickness. And that's a really cool shape, in my opinion. And it, it's just fun to play with, guys. I've done some off-camera playing with this, and that is my pick. So if you have to order one, go ahead and do yourself a favor and order the Rombo Origami. Rombo Picks. That's going to conclude our review of their care package. Uh, I do want to give them one more huge shout-out for sending me all these picks totally for free. Uh, remember, guys, this is just an honest review. They didn't pay me a dime for this. Um, but if you want to know what I honestly think about them and their picks, I think it's 
super cool that they're a small company. Um, they're starting up and I'll link them down below. So hopefully you guys will go check out their site at least. They're out of Germany, which is interesting and their picks are super unique. Um, so I really enjoyed making this video. But with all that being said, guys, hopefully it was fun for you guys to watch. I know it was a little bit of a change of pace from our normal lessons that we normally do. Um, but nonetheless, guys, as always, if you enjoyed, please let me know by leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time.